Hello everyone, are you ready today? I'm gonna share a very powerful wisdom seed, the God of miracles. This is some question I want you to answer. I wanna answer if you have some questions about it. Uh, is God a God of miracles? What is the difference between Christianity and any other religion of the world? Number two, this is important. Does God do miracles still today? We're gonna see those answers and we're gonna go to the Bible. In the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 11, the Bible says, and God made special miracles by the hand of Paul. Did you see that? God made special miracles by the hand of Paul. Did you know that the word miracles is not preached or mentioned in the church today? You know that Christianity without miracles, it's just another religion. Did you know that we don't have, without miracles, we don't have nothing to offer to a hurting world that need a miracle today, except what we can offer, it's just religion. Number two, to say that we don't need religion, I mean, we don't need miracles today, is a sign of a church that is lukewarm. And I can speak more about it. For some denominations, miracles pass with the apostles. Uh, Jesus is being preached today with his principles, but without his miracles. If we're not careful today, Jesus is will be seen as a philosopher, a legend, uh, a teacher, even a prophet, but not as the son of God. What makes the distinction between Jesus, the son of God, and any other philosopher, any other religious leader, is his miracles, signs, and wonders. As a matter of fact, God, for some people says, do I need a miracle? Did you know that everyone today needs a miracle? Everyone, I don't know anybody that say, well, I don't need a miracle. Yes, we do. For example, um, you know, to understand what a miracle is, a miracle is a supernatural intervention of God in the impossible circumstances of men. When man has an impossible circumstance, they seek God and they found God, they find God. In other words, we need miracles. We need miracles today, yes. God does miracles today, yes. The Bible says God did powerful, special miracles through the hands of Paul. And I can tell you, God has done special miracles, thousands upon thousands of miracles through my hands. I don't do them. God does. God used me, but God used me and God can use you. In other words, this is not just for a special celebrity. God can use anybody in miracles. Mark, the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 15, the Bible says, these signs shall follow those that believe. Believe what? That Jesus is alive, that Jesus is resurrected. They cast out demons, they heal the sick. They will do miracles. In other words, Jesus is alive today. And this is very powerful. What is the purpose of miracles? For you to understand quickly. The purpose of miracles, number one, this is so powerful, is to prove the existence of God. In other words, can we prove that God is alive today? Yes, yes we can. For example, I was praying for somebody, a little, child, little kid, nine years old in Argentina. I was praying and suddenly he has some a brain uh, damage. And the doctor said, uh, they told her, his mother, he will not be able to talk. He will not be able to understand and he will not be able to be a normal kid. So when the presence of God came in that place and I started praying for the people, that little kid suddenly, he goes, mommy, I understand everything. And, and the mother, her, his mother said, oh, you talking? Yeah, he was talking. He was understanding everything. And his mother said that the doctor said he has the mind of a four years old. But after that miracles, he stood, he understood everything. What does it tell you? That God is keep doing miracles. So this is what happened. When he went to the doctor, the doctor found a little cut here in the front head. 
in the forehead. Um, they, they found something that had a little surgery. That means God came down that night and did a little surgery in his brain. Is that possible? Oh, I've seen the most incredible miracles. I have seen people without finger, the finger growing back. I have seen breasts grow back. I have seen flesh grow back. I have seen blind eyes see. I have seen deaf ears hear. I have seen so many miracles that this generation don't understand. So this is important. Do you believe in miracles? Do you need one today? Okay, yes. I want you to share this video with someone that needs a miracle because I am about to pray. Do you have any impossible circumstance in your life? And you are saying, Apostle, I, I do. I need a financial miracle. I need a healing in my body. I need a, a, a mental miracle. I need an emotional miracle. <laughs> Whatever miracle you need, I'm gonna pray for you now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you because miracles prove the existence of God. Number two, this is a quick review. Miracles are the evidence of the power and the love of God. God has intense desire to heal you. God has intense desire to give you a miracle. Maybe many of you, you've never seen a miracle. You never experienced a miracle. You're about to experience one. How? Just believe. How? Just snatch it. Just take it by force. Say, God, I receive my miracle. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority over every spirit of sickness and disease, and I command everybody to be healed now. Be delivered in their mind. Oppression, depression, fear, go. And Father, I pray for every person that needs a physical miracle. Right now, created miracles where bones, flesh, are missing right now, grow back. Father, those that have one leg shorter than the other one, grow back. Problem in their back, Father, right now, herniated disc, be healed, be delivered. And I pray for those that are struggling in their mind with depression and suicidal thoughts. In Jesus' name, I deliver you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Right now, take it. Receive your miracles. Believe now. Father, I release financial miracles. Those that are watching and they're saying, I'm going to take my financial miracles. Take it right now. Debt cancellation. Student loans be canceled now. In Jesus' name. Father, I release financial miracles over every person that believe. This is for you. Receive your physical, mental, emotional miracles in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Remember, Jesus is alive. Every miracle proves that he's alive, that he's here today. I bless you. I want you to share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel for more information. I got more teachings, preachings. I pray for you. And I want you to connect to my uh, online prayer line that you can call us and we pray for you. I love you. Keep connected to my channel. God bless you. Amen.